this video, I'm going to be talking about SnapSax V3, all the possible features, and more. Enjoy. Just like everybody else, I am very excited for Synapse XV3 and to see what features are going to be coming to the executor. So I'm going to be talking about some of them. So for example, we could have an updated UI because as you guys know, the Synapse UI isn't exactly the cleanest and the most modern compared to some other executors and even free ones. So, so, so we're probably going to see a better UI, like some better buttons. Overall, just a cleaner or more simple. UIs more rounded out less jagged edges you guys know also maybe some GUI animations so when you're moving from tab to tab there's gonna be like an animation or something like that where like swipes or it's anything you know because the current synapse X does not and maybe that's one of the you know features that people will like but I think it would be pretty cool if the GUI was just overall cleaner and more smoother also, maybe there will be some more scripts in the script cub because right now you guys know that there's only an ESP, a like Owl Hub or something like that, Dark Dex, and I, th I think that's all. I, there's like one more, I think. I'm not sure. But obviously, that's like four scripts, five scripts maybe, a stream sniper. That's also one of them. But there's barely any scripts in the GUI. So maybe there will be more scripts in the script hub in the next one. Also, Themes. Themes are super difficult to install in the current synapse. You have to go into the executor files, you know, delete things, put in things. You know, you might switch the wrong thing. You might not put enough things in. So it is pretty confusing, especially for newer exploiters to switch their theme. So, but there's plenty of new, good videos like Sir Memes or my video. So you guys can definitely watch those if you're right now trying to change a theme. I, I mean, you can't right now. It's patched. But by the time this video is out, it might be unpatched. But anyways, that's definitely something that could change where they have like a whole theme tab. So, you know, you can easily change your theme from that section. And now you won't have to go into the executor files, download stuff from some from the discord of Synapse X. You can just, you know, directly scroll through the popular themes, the new themes, the you know, recommended themes, the default themes, different colors, who knows? But I think that's definitely should be something the new Synapse X might have, or at least something that will make themes easier because right now it's certainly not very easy. Another feature might be something like an advanced mode where it has a really simple UI, but you guys can go into like the settings and change the settings to where it has more features that you guys can edit. So if you're more an advanced exploiter and you guys kind of know what you're doing, you can switch some settings, make it more customizable to run better for you or just overall make it more of your own. Another pretty miscellaneous, like small extra feature, maybe would be like an FPS unblocker where you can switch how much FPS you want to unblock, like 60, 120, or you can even type in a custom number. So that'd be pretty cool. A lot of executors do currently have that. So that'd be a pretty cool addition to Synapse. And another feature could also be something like a better execution system. I'm not exactly sure how that would work because Synapse is already basically the best, but I'm sure they could try to optimize it or make it better in some way for the V3 because, you know, this is a pretty big milestone there. And I'm sure everybody is really excited to see what's new for the new Synapse because they're kind of pushing you hard that it's new. So let's actually see how much of a new G executor it is. Now, remember, I'm not exactly sure if any of these features are going to be added. Maybe nothing I mentioned will be added, but these are my top guesses for what's going to be in the new Synapse V3. And I'm definitely excited to see what happens. Remember, I should be still uploading another video this week and a Minecraft video on my second channel, Talkpot V2, link in the description, should be out sometime this month. Once again, I'm probably planning on recording sometime today. So, you know, stay tuned for that. And we just hit 130K like a day or two ago. So thank you guys so much for that. Remember, all you need to do is leave a like on the videos and be subscribed down below to join the 150K Synapse X giveaways. But anyways, thank you for sticking along till the end. Thank you to all my members right here. Your support is appreciated, guys. Thank you for joining the channel. And most importantly, thank you for sticking along till the end of the video. You guys help out the channel the most by sticking along till the end, watching the whole video. And, you know, if you watch until the end of the video and you're not subscribed, you probably do that. <laughs> but anyways, thank you. And hopefully I'll catch you all in the next one. See you guys. Thank you.